So I'm currently having the single best month of my entire trading career. We're up over $684,000 in realized profits for the month of June, and we're up over $1.3 million so far year to date. And honestly, none of this matters to me. I want you to know that before we move any further. I post all of my trades within our academy. I post most of them for free over on X and on this YouTube channel. And while the reason is to help you guys make money, to help you guys understand what I'm seeing, where I see the real value is in watching how I act each and every single day, whether it's a win, whether it's a loss, no matter how big the win is, and no matter how big the loss is. Today alone, we close out over $131,000, which is my biggest day that I have ever had in my career. And as you guys know, it is not always like this. And we're gonna go over all of this, exactly what I did. I actually did end up closing out my Tesla calls for August. I closed them out for a massive profit, and I actually rolled the position out to September. So I'm still extremely bullish on Tesla. But I also shared a repost on our X account going over the fact that we also lose, right? This is a repost of a $50,000 loss that we took on Tesla back on May 23rd. And I said this, please don't forget that these days also happen. The reason that I don't get hype on a $100,000 day is because I remember that there will be $50,000 losing days. If I attach my energy to my returns, this means that I would feel the lowest of lows on my losing days. I know this is going to sound ridiculous. And guys, I, I promise you, like as somebody who has, was in jail 10 years ago, I lived off of food stamps. I was damn near homeless, living in a van at one point for a couple of weeks. Like it's, I hate when people say it, but once you get to this point, you will understand it. You will get it. Even once you start making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, you will understand this. You need to remove your attachment to money entirely. It's just numbers on a screen, paper they print from the sky, and it does not dictate your worth. Even if I lost everything, I'd be broke, not poor. Broke means you don't have capital. Poor is a mindset. One, I had to spend 30 years to overcome. Guys, I mean, even having the crazy year that we've had so far, I don't change. Like I bought a Cybertruck. I'm still in the same house. I'm wearing the same Terry Black's hat and the same clothes. Like I don't not attach myself to the monetary return because trading much like entrepreneurship is an infinite game. There is no goal. There is no once I hit 2 million, 5 million, 10 million that I'm going to stop or that I'm going to be happy. The goal and what makes me the happiest each and every single day is just trading, just staying alive in the game, building a beautiful community with you guys, building a business with people that I care about. That is what pushes me. That is what makes me happy. And so I'm not going to tie my happiness and my worth to the money that I see on the screen. I'm going to tie it to what I'm doing every day. And if I'm pushing myself further into the life that I want with the people that I want. And so all of that said, let's get into Tesla. Let's take a look at what I did. Let's go over all of the trades for the day. And let's look at some other stocks that I'm going to be watching for this week. Now, the biggest win that we ended up closing today was those calls that we have been going over for the past week, week and a half, was these Tesla 816-2024 calls. You can see that we ended up closing this out for a $54,000 profit or a 35% return. You're going to see that we closed these this morning at 10.03 a.m. And the reason that I ended up closing those was because I rolled that position out till September. So if you ever hear somebody say they are rolling out a trade, you don't have to do anything special. All I did and all you have to do is just close out the current position that you have and then open up another position, which in my case, I opened up some calls for Tesla out until September. So the new calls that I ended up buying were September 20th, you can see this is $136,000 position, so it's still a very, very large position. Not crazy, you know, the amount of money that we're up for the year, let alone my allocation capital. And you can see here that as soon as we close those at 10.01, we open these at 10.02.54. So I still think that Tesla is going to continue to break out through $200 up to about 250, 280, and 300. If you guys want my end of the year target, go back and watch the video that we went over yesterday. We broke down the daily chart, the weekly chart, and the monthly, and went over why and some catalysts I think that could be happening for Tesla in the next couple of months. 
And we also went over some catalysts that I think will be helping Tesla to push up into those target levels. Smaller position that ended up closing on Tesla today was for $13,051. And I want to go over this position because I called this out on X. This was a day trade. But I really want to cover my thought process behind taking the trade because that works on any time frame. And I more so want to talk about my risk management protocols. A lot of people believe that, you know, especially beginners, that when they're trading, they're going to take one entry, they're going to enter hopefully at the perfect time, and then they're going to close as soon as it hits a perfect target. You know, we've been saying Tesla 200, so imagine not closing when it hits 199, but only when it hits 200. You know that that's ridiculous and that's not realistic. I'm usually looking to take half my profits off the table at equal highs, and then the other half as we push up into higher highs. And this morning I posted very, very early about 9.46 a.m. and I said Tesla short-term outlook. At that point, I was still in my August calls. Big money hit some short-term calls, but I'm waiting to see if we pull back to 194 or our open range 15 minute setup. I said from there, I will be looking to go long, setting a stop loss at $192 and a take profit of 200. If the market bias breaks, we are 100% going to fill the fair value gap at $188, which is why I made it my stop loss. So what does all of that mean, right? What is a 15 minute open range? Why is it so important? Let's basically go over that right now. So there are two types of open ranges that I like to trade. The first is the 15 minute open range or the 15 minute orb. And the other is the 30 minute open range and the 30 minute orb. The one that we're going over in this one is going to be 15 minutes because I feel it's the best when it comes to short term trading. All you have to do in order to find the 15 minute open range is you wait for the 15 minute candle to close you take a horizontal line, you attach it to the top of the candle wick, then you take another one and you attach it to the bottom of the candle wick. Open range top, and now open range bottom. And what normally happens is that if price is trading through this range, we will normally consolidate between this support and this resistance. If price in most cases breaks out over the open range, we are going to rally for the rest of the day. You're going to be able to see that this is exactly what happened yesterday. If we take the open range from here and the open range lower down here, you're going to see that once we broke over that open range breakout, we did nothing but continue to rally for the rest of the day. So I ended up posting the fact that I was going to enter if price pulled all the way back down into that open range. And you can see that that candle did pull all the way back. And luckily I entered with a hundred contracts at 9.50 a.m. I closed out 50 of them at 9.56 a.m. And the reason for that is that we got in, like we said, perfectly down here. And my first target is this resistance level, right? I could have said like, okay, I'm just gonna hold it until we move all the way up to 200. But realistically, there is a very, very high chance, like a chance that price was going to come down, bounce off of this level and at least hit equal highs. So what I like to do is when price hits an equal high, I take half of my calls off the table because at this point I had already banked $5,000. So if Tesla had pulled back down into our support level where I entered initially, I could just close it out and still make a profit. Or even if it pulled back and hit my stop loss, that would have actually been a break even trade since we took some money off the table. And you can see that about an hour and a half Later, at 11.38 a.m., we had pulled back all the way back down to this level, and we actually tapped that buy-in level again. Now, what I did was on X, I posted the two-minute setup that was happening, and I said that I was going to look to add into my calls once again. You can see that we have this 15-minute open range. We were bouncing off support. I also posted that two-minute BX trender was showing some strength, and you can see that to perfection, Price ended up bouncing off of this level, and my plan was to take profits once again up at 197 or the top of the open range, or set a stop loss under it and hopefully break even. In this case, I ended up closing Tesla. The first close was here at about 1226, and then I closed the rest at 1231. And the reason I did that is we are coming into this resistance level, and I knew that I had to work on courses and that I had a meeting and some other things that I had to handle. So instead of just holding on to this $100,000 position, 
even if it was 10 grand, right? Like holding onto a position I know that I cannot watch and monitor is just silly. So I decided that I would go through and close out the position, which ended up giving us a total profit of about $13,051. Now, where does this bring us now going into Friday and the rest of next week? Well, we still have not fully taken out this liquidity level. We still have to take out $200. And to be quite honest, I would not be surprised if in the short term we saw Tesla pull back down to 192. That was kind of my thought process. If you guys have taken our free course going over how we were able to make $600,000 in six months, basically using the market bias indicator. And at this point, it's, it's, it's like $1.3 million. So I should probably update that. But entire course is totally free and it goes over all the indicators that you guys see here. And in most cases, when the market bias is in double green, like you can see here, we're in a very strong breakout. And so what happened today was we stopped seeing the double squeeze occur. And I thought that we were going to see price pull its way back down into market bias, which is a good sign, and then bounce off of 190 back up into $200. And so far, that has not happened. We actually just saw price continue to push its way up, and it's looking like we could just break right through 200 tomorrow. So I am still very bullish on Tesla. I do not have any short-dated calls open. I think that, you know, depending upon how deliveries go, could see a pullback to 180. But I am positioned right now with not only a massive call position for September, but the beautiful thing, and this is why I push risk management more than anything, whether you're trading with 10 grand, 100 grand, 10 million, 100 million, whatever it is, you have to use proper risk management. What makes our trading strategy so good is that, yes, like we do have a massive trade open on Tesla. This trade, this $100,000 is literally, and we went through this yesterday, if we just actually go through the filters, we look at this and we just isolate our returns on Tesla, that $140,000 is less than 50% of the profits that we have made on Tesla alone this year. And so this is how you should be managing your risk. You have to understand that your trading strategy could be amazing, right? You could have an 80% win rate, a 60% win rate, whatever it is, but you're going to lose. There's no way around it. The people, the instant classic, the way I know that you will not be a successful trader is if you ask me how we can avoid the losses. If you're like, dude, how can we make the strategy better? How can we avoid? That's not the way to think. We can do that later on, but what you really need to focus on the fact that you're going to eat shit at some point, you're going to lose money at some point, and that you have to prepare for that. The way that I've learned to get over that in my life, as much as people don't want to really care about that, is I study stoicism. I focus heavily on trying to have patience, to use proper risk management, to have control of my emotions and to remove myself, to be as detached as I humanly can because the losses are going to happen. And so you'll see me here doing the same thing, win, lose, or draw. And that's the whole point. We don't care what's going to happen today. We don't care what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't care if we hit a win streak. We don't care if we hit a losing streak. What we care about is Ultimately, for me, my freedom, my freedom in life, being able to do things that I want to do with the people that I want to do it with, and more importantly, to just have fun playing the game, because that's all we have. Like, we're all getting out of here the same way. We are all going to die at some point, and so there's no end goal. There's no end game, right? Like, all you have is the present moment and your day-to-day -day life, and so that's why, for me, I focus so heavily on what my day-to-day -day life looks like who I'm spending it with, who I'm sharing my knowledge with, and the community that we're building. Because that's all I have, and at least in my life, that's what makes me the most happy. So I hope you guys had a great day. If you want to get access to all of our courses, go ahead and check them out. The link is in the description. And if you do want to get access to our private Discord, where you can get access to all of my trades, all of our courses, the link to the private academy will be in the description. Thank you guys, as always. I'll see you next time.